So today Keno Sport have been welcomed in open arms to the Fry Ridge, the home of Hartlepool Rovers, for a Durham Cup clash against the inaugural winners of the competition, Sunderland. So, fair to say, um, after the two league meetings, a little bit of the underdogs today, Rovers, would you say? We are the underdogs, yeah. Sunderland hot favourites today, yeah. But we'll be trying to wear... Uh, Put that right and get a, get a win on our own home pitch in the cup. Magic is, of the cup. Is there anything you're changing compared to your league matches earlier that uh, you're doing this this time? Uh, Obviously, not, bearing in mind that jo John's right there. <laughs> not particularly. Just try and do what we plan to do in the league matches a little bit better. Yeah. John, you came so close, really. You were always there or thereabouts yeah. going up towards the end of the season. Disappointed that you didn't get that top spot? Uh, a little bit, but uh, West were the best team in the league and they got what they deserved. We had a good opportunity at their place and as is ever the case, when you miss that opportunity, things uh, don't quite go your way the rest of the season. But the best team went up. We're really happy. We've got better every year. We've got a good young side and yeah, just, yeah really happy with it. And a chance to get a, a trophy in the cabinet this season? Yeah, hopefully. It'll be tough today. These guys have done really well at the back end of the season. We, me and Darren have been talking about and um, they it's availability is nine tenth of the law at this level and when you've got when you get your best team out you're competitive and uh, i think we've got a better team out today and hopefully it'll be good game gents thank you so much for your time i won't take any more of it have a great game and uh, yeah best team win all the best thank you cheers now thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. yeah we're on the rain's kept off so far so hopefully we'll have a nice dry game but i'm really looking forward to having our first rugby on king no sport
Everybody wears clothes, but the fast fashion industry is the second biggest polluter of the planet. Consumers are becoming more conscious of their effects on people and the planet. The only 100% sustainable solution is to walk around naked. If that's not for you, there's always Day Studios. We handcraft people and planet positive clothing because fast fashion isn't important as long as you have style.
Get back! Get back to me! Get back! Keep working hard, Rob! Keep working hard!
Those first five minutes, you really were on top. Um, do you want to describe how that went? Um, well, we normally don't start very well, really, so it was a bit of a, I suppose it was a bit of a shock. But I don't know, it's just a bit of a, a bit of art straight away after the kickoff. There was a period there in the second half as well where you you were really sticking with them, and there was a chance, you know, got the penalty. You were getting back into the game, but points wise. Did you feel like there was a chance there in the second oh, half? Definitely, you... yeah, yeah. Just a couple of decisions didn't go our way, but on another day it might have been. We might have got back in the game, but we can't. We play with what's in front of us, don't we? So we we'll go from there. There was, a feel, there was a feeling on the sidelines getting a little bit naughty. What was it like in the trenches? Um, I mean, you do you, you normally don't really hear what's going on the sidelines, but obviously there were a big crowd running. There was, there was a lot was of good. them shouting down. Anything. Anything. It was good. Lovely. Well, thank you for your time. Really appreciate it. No worries. Thank you. What's the difference between two teams today? Being honest, I think we're our set piece, um, so it helped us out a lot. 
Um, it's coming in, seemed to be dominant, um, and our line out seemed to win a lot of their ball as well. So, See, it sort of helped us out. It seemed to be a time that every time the, the, the front rows came together, you were always coming out on top. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's been a, a strong point of our game most, most of the season, and uh, our line out's pretty organised as well, so you know, we like to try and use that to get a foothold into the game, you know, and then play from there. Obviously, so close in the league, you know, you really were pushing all the way at the end there. Yeah. Chance here for a bit of silverware in the pot? Yeah, I, th I, th I think we do stand a pretty good chance. Um, like we've had a really good season. We've built from last season, um, and we seem to keep building and building and building. That's credit to our coaches as well. Um, keep building, get down the train, get really good numbers down. So yeah, it's, it's all. I think it's a good chance for us. Lovely. Well, thank you for your time, Cap Captain. Yeah. Right, so you must be the uh, player of the game then. Yeah. We do things a little bit different at King O'Hart. The, the, the player of the game gets a hamper oh, to take oh, back home to the family. Hello. So there you go, if you'd like to present. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. <laughs> That's got it, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Cheers. And uh, nice one. Yeah, Thanks very much for your time. Cheers. All the best. Safe journey home. Cheers.